Okay, so what exactly am I doing out in London? Um, I've come to see a guy called Stefan. Stefan runs a company and he's co-founder of a company called VYN and they're a shoe company. And yeah, I know you're gonna say, look, he's already got too many shoes. These are different. They're very special, they're very nice. And he's a lovely guy. I'm gonna go and meet him and I'm gonna discuss a little bit about the shoes with him. So why have I come all the way to London to meet a guy named Stefan? Well, the idea was I'm going to have a cup of coffee with him at a cafe or bar. So we ended up having a coffee at St Pancras Station, at the end of St Pancras Station, in sort of an outside coffee bar. So I didn't really get the opportunity to do what I thought I was going to do, which was a bit of an interview, which you was going to see on here. It was a bit too noisy, a bit loud, so we couldn't really do that. But I still had a really good chat, probably spent about an hour or so talking to Stefan. Now, Stefan is the co-founder with a lady named Catherine of a shoe company called VYN or VIN One Shoes. And they've both sort of done their bit with fashion, many different fashion houses and thought, right, is there something we can do on our own? Is there something we can do that's different? So they come up with the idea of producing a shoe in the luxury stroke premium sneaker stroke trainer market. Depending on where you come from, over here in the UK it's trainers, over in America it's sneakers. But so they've decided to bring out a sustainable luxury trainer. So speaking to Stefan, one of the main things behind their company is making a shoe that is different from every other shoe out there. Because there's a lot of shoe stroke trainer makers and there's even a lot in this luxury premium market. It's very full, there's lots of people doing it. But the thing is, all the people that are doing it are making these shoes which we take for granted and which we end up throwing away. They wear out, we get rid of them or we get fed up with them. The idea with Stefan's and Catherine's Vin company, uh, Vin in sort of Swiss sounds more like win, doesn't it? So the company sounds like a win. And I think it is a win for everybody. It's a win for both the environment and you as a purchaser buying shoes. The reason being, these are the first sustainable luxury premium shoes. They were built to last. They're built out of very, very high quality materials but they're the first shoe you can keep and upgrade or repair yourself as such. And that's basically down to the fact that the shoes have a replaceable heel and a replaceable cushion at the back, which goes around behind your heel. When they wear out, you just buy a new set because they're the parts of your shoe that wear the most. And I found that myself, which is one of the things that got me interested in the first place, my shoes do tend to wear on that rear corner in the heel. Now, some of that's down to the way I wear my shoes. It's the fact that I also drive and my feet, or legs, not everybody's legs are exactly 100% the same length. So my shoes always wear on this corner here. You can see here, it's sort of worn away. The rest of the shoe's pretty much okay. You do get, again, as I said, a little bit of tear and wear in the heel part here. And that's what the whole idea of the VIN one shoes is to sort out that issue. You can replace the heel therefore getting rid of this issue here when you're wearing it out and you can replace the back bit getting rid of the wear on here but also a big thing and a big part of the company and a big reason why they're doing it is sustainability it helps the environment it's helping us to keep our shoes longer get a premium pair of shoes that we're going to keep a lot longer than the normal ones so that we don't end up filling up landfill Stefan was also saying to me about the journey in which the product takes. So basically, like with you see with your supermarkets nowadays with your meat manufacturer, and they'll tell you exactly where it's come from. With the shoes, he can tell from start to finish exactly where the product's been, where it's come from. So the company itself is a Swiss company, but the shoes are made in Italy, so they're finest Italian quality. But he also knows, as I said, all the parts that go into the shoe, he knows that journey, he knows where they come from. There's very, very few parts that they can turn around and say they don't actually know where everything is. So they know they're not being made in sweatshops in India or somewhere like that and they know that there's not parts coming from all sorts of different places that they shouldn't do. These are sustainable parts, good parts and parts that are going to help with their journey along the run to help the environment and that's the basic ethos of the company. So the company is a new company, it's only just recently been formed in the last few years. Um, they've only really been get going for the last couple of years. There's some articles on them in some magazines, 2021-22. Square Mile did an article on them in December last year. 
So it's December 23. I will stick a link to that below. I'll also stick links to some of the other articles and things like that. The shoes are sold specifically via the website. There are a couple of specialists selling them. They're not fully established in all the stores yet. That will come in time. I'm sure it will. I'm sure the company will go from strength to strength and that will happen. At the moment, they only produce one type of shoe. So it's a VYN1 is the shoe they produce at the moment. That's in six different colours. So there's an off-white. There's a tan a grage grage is a mix of between gray and beige didn't even know it existed <laughs> there's a navy there's a brodo which is sort of a dark brown colored which is quite a nice dark brown colored and then there's military green so yeah i know you want to know what i ordered so let's have a little bit of an unboxing i'll show you what you get in the box and what i got okay so as you can see i've got quite a large box here nice and substantial which is a good thing to be fair and it tells us obviously it's VYN, made in Italy. And inside we've basically got a leaflet. So we've got a little bit of paperwork telling us about the manufacturer, what they're doing. Welcome to the world of VIN. It does give you a few bits and bobs and instructions on how to fit the parts on this side. So you can actually see how to fit on the heel and the bit that goes in the back, the cushion. It's quite nice. Another logo on a nice little sort of canvas bag. It is a tie bag actually. It's got a little couple of drawstrings, so nice little drawstring bag. Little canvas bag's got like a little pocket in it. And inside that pocket, we've got the two heel pieces. So these are the heel drag, and it says no more heel drag on here. This is not on a natural color, quite nice, with the little clips to clip them in places. Also in here, we have two spare backs so these are the cushion backs that, that go on the rear of the shoe so we've got again the natural color again a leathery material so it's nice leather it's a suede material it's got medium size on it very well put together and we've got some laces so we've got a spare set of laces this is a nice creamy sort of white colored lace which is quite nice and then we come to the shoe itself it's covered in obviously a little bit of paper as always and two shoes, of course. As I said, it is a massive box for the shoes, but a lovely shoe with the heels. Bit of paper in there to stuff it up, but very well built, full leather shoe. So you can see in here, it says VYM made in Italy. Very, very well put together. Very comfortable looking shoe. And you can see the pieces that change at the back here. In this case, it's navy blue. And you've got navy blue on the rear piece as well. So with the shoes themselves, that's all your accessories, bag, laces, heel pieces, and cushion pieces. These do need to be bent a bit to make them fit properly, but that's fine. That will happen with time when you use them. Well, as you can see, not too different for me, is it? I ended up with the military green pair. They are military green on the leather around here, sort of the mix between grey and beige on the bottom. And then you've got the blue heel. So my heel piece is blue and the back piece is blue. So I also showed you in the video what's in that bag, which you get the extra pieces, the extra pieces to go on here, which is the light brown version at the back and the light brown version for the heel, the heel drag. The heels and the back are very easy to take apart. This part here, the back piece, which is the cushion piece, this just literally pulls up, you lift it out gently that comes out and you replace it with the ones I showed you. You've got a very nice thick sole. The way you put them together is literally you put this into the shoe with this in here. So basically you're going in that way and then that goes into your shoe. You push it down and once it's in place, you've got your back, your comfort piece here and your sole in place here. These shoes have got the green laces as i've just shown you and the other laces i won't be bothering with the mr lacy laces for these because i don't really fancy larry laces on these i will probably change these to the lighter color ones though i think when i start wearing them but i'll probably keep the blue in because i quite like navy blue so i'll keep these in here for a while and also want to see how sturdy they are and how well they do actually wear so i've shown you how to do the heel piece here that's very simple and very easy. The drag heel part is a little bit different. It's not difficult. It just means you've got a little gap here. You need a coin, pound coin or euro, as I've got in this case. That pushes in there. And then you twist and turn it. 
and it pushes as you can see the shoe starts to come apart and when it's apart you basically got your heel drag here so this is this piece here it says heel drag on it <clears throat> it's actually got little teeth in it and the teeth match to the heel of the shoe so basically when you change them you take the other color out and you just line them up and then they sort of push in place you can't push them too much with your hand because they're very strong because the idea is you don't want them falling apart and coming out on you so when you put them on the idea is basically you push these in here and then you put the shoe on and push your foot down on it so you push your heel into the shoe and that then pushes this bit back on again it said it's all leather italian leather it smells beautiful i haven't smelled a really nice pair of leather shoes for years these are really really well built even the stitching all the stitching around it's all very very well done very high quality the materials in the sole are very high quality quite thick so the sole is on this one is 28 millimeters as opposed to my normal vans which are about 19 millimeters so a little bit thicker it's quite nice i like that it's a nice depth into the shoes so it's quite a nice cushioned feel so you're going to get a nice sturdy these are going to last you a long time as well the pattern's very well done grippy they're built to last you've got a nice rough edge around the front again which will keep buffers off it won't get scuffed and marked like usual weight wise you can feel the weight in this my normal van shoes weigh about 425 grams per shoe on average and i'm a size eight this is about 100 grams more it's 529 grams in total roughly for this size eight shoe so it's about 100 grams more than i'm used to but as i said that's because it's felt so sturdy it's leather it's not material like the others it's leather everywhere even the uh, nice little tongue's got a different color leather so you've got the green and then the blue on the tongue as well with the tan color inside and the size 42 which is european for eight um yeah they're really really nice very well built very comfortable shoes that are in the long term going to help the environment hopefully in the long run this company will produce more of these shoes more styles more different variations i really like them so of course i've got to try them out see what they're like outside So I can genuinely say they are really, really comfortable. They're really easy to put on. It's one of them things uh, you don't find often with shoes, but this one's literally, you slip your feet straight into them. They're so easy to put on. When I spoke to Stefan at the time, one of the things he did say, one of the things I mentioned about them was that they were quite wide. And that was one of the things he said, yeah, it was to sort of fit everyone, it was nicer to make a wider, more comfortable shoe. And it definitely notices. So yeah, I think I will be wearing these quite often because they are very nice and comfortable. So And they're quite warm, of course, because they're leather. So they're going to keep my tootsies nice and warm for a change. As I've said with the other stuff, all the links will be below. Check out the links, check out the site, and thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Cheers.